Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do a craft. And before we get too into it, I would just like to ask again, um, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me and it's so easy. You just click this little box right down here. Okay, so today's craft, I'm going to be trying to make a pilgrim um, bonnet or quaff if you will if you if you google pilgrim bonnet these are the images that appear and sometimes it's a bonnet sometimes it's a quaff so that's what we're going to do i mean basically it's the ones you see with the little folded over edge like this so a lot of the instructions i found tell you how to do it with paper i'm going to try and make it with felt just because i think it's just a little bit nicer uh, I had tried no sew, but um, the fabric glue apparently doesn't work with felt. Um, as you can see, I was so convinced I was going to get it right the first time I bought three pieces of felt just in case. So I'm going to try and modify this Martha Stewart instruction that was for paper to the felt. So step one, you're going to fold your brim over. I'm going to pin it down. take a needle and thread and and tack this brim down just to uh, secure it if you do paper it'll probably stay just by folding it and then I think you put holes to put a ribbon I'm gonna try and do it without the ribbon just a simple little head quaff and if you think needle and threads are hard normally to thread you should try doing it with a ring light in your face Woo! Yes! Okay, and then just gonna knot the end. Of course, with the felt, it's probably gonna come through. <laughs> so we'll pretend like a sewing machine and we'll sew back and over. Lightly, I said big. Hope I did enough thread because I'm just going to lightly tack this down. Should probably go get the iron and iron it, make it look that much nicer. Okay, there's our brim. Not too bad. So. Probably take this time to iron it. I'm gonna go iron this and I'll be right back. Okay, I gave it a quick iron and I, I'm feeling a little bit better about it. So now the next step is we're gonna make two cuts. And this is where I get a little woo. Because I think you're supposed to make them equidistant. I'm gonna make them. That's where we want our cuts. So let's Okay. And you can be you can actually follow the instructions and be much more exact. I'm just kind of uh, guesstimating here. Okay, so now we have the three pieces. And that kind of feels right, okay. Okay, so we cut the three pieces. Now we're going to sew down the back. And uh, let's pin these down. 
Okay, get some needle and thread going. White on white is very hard to see, which I guess is also good because then you can't see the mistakes. And so now your little bonnet coif looks like this. We're almost there. Now we just need to sew down this last piece. Again, that's why I bought three pieces of felt. However, this isn't turning out too bad. Most of the instructions, you put the flap out and you fold it down like that. And then you could sew or glue it, but that gives too, I think, too many layers in the back. I'm feeling the tucking in method for this. So depending what you're going to make this for, people aren't going to see the back, right? So thanks for joining me in this craft. Um, you're, after seeing this, you're probably going to choose paper because paper has less headaches and obviously no sew. But with the conclusion of this craft, I would like to wish you and yours a happy and healthy Thanksgiving and Please, again, don't forget to give a like and subscribe. And until next time.